Well, well, you know, congratulations, to Mississippi State, and uh, just kind of disappointed from the standpoint that we've been playing well, been playing much better at home, and and as you could see, it was a tale of two halves, and I don't know if we just ran out of steam because if you think about the first half against a, a very good, a good Mississippi State team, uh, we shot the ball well, we executed, we rebound the basketball, we shared it. The only thing we didn't do a good job of was taking care of the basketball. In those turnovers, I mean, if you just, you know, you, sometimes you look at the stats when you get your, when you get your, when you get beat, but if you look at the turnovers, you know, they scored 27 points off our turnovers. That's what we normally do to people. So we had 20 turnovers, and they were, uh, they're a good basketball, good, good defensive team, but I, I thought we helped them in that category. And so that's 14 steals that turned 27 points. Uh, I think we scored 22 off of theirs. Uh, second chance points. You know, I think they scored five more points than we did. And if you look at that, then there's the ball game. But I thought it was a tell of two halves. And uh, uh, their size uh, going down the stretch, I thought, uh, made a big difference in the game. They got some offensive rebounds and stuck them in. Uh, uh, but I thought our guys, you know, again, I thought they gave everything they had. They put a body on Dan, made it difficult for him. Uh, I thought we did much better moving offensively in the first half than the second half. And then we had just a big lull. I don't know what the run was, but we came out and – uh, took an eight-point lead, I think, in the second half. We scored three free throws. I don't think we scored a field goal until like 11 minutes to go. And that, you can't, you can't do that and and beat any team. And so uh, uh, I, I didn't see that coming from the standpoint of you know when you got guys that are able to score, you got a guy with the presence of Dan. Uh, we missed some chippies. We missed a lot of open shots as well. Uh, so again, sometimes when you start missing it, it kind of gets to your head a little bit, and you can so guys kind of start pressing a little bit. Uh, but even with that, we, we cut it to nine with five, six minutes to go, and, and we got the basketball, and uh, the whole thing rears its head again. That's turnovers. Turnovers that led into opportunities for them. So uh, again, we just got to get back back in the gym, watch film, and, uh, and get better. Try to get better. We got six games left on this season, six game season. Yeah, Mike, it was actually a 23-1 20, 20, uh, 23 to 1 run, which, like Ben Howland said, usually Arkansas is doing that to, to the people that come in here. I mean, just – I think you guys missed 12 shots. Did you feel like you were getting good shots? Were guys maybe rushing, or what did you think about that? Uh, there were some good shots. I thought we just got pressing a little bit. Uh, I thought we start pressing a little bit. And uh, then, of course, it – you know that that hole gets a little little, little smaller. Uh, uh, like I said, it's, uh, and then of course when you turn it over to lead to easy opportunities for them, that's how they got that run. They got some easy opportunities, uh, but we missed some shots. We missed some shots uh, that we normally would make, and uh, then we didn't. We took some inadvertent shots as well. We missed layups. We missed a bunch of layups, as a matter of fact. And Daniel, you know, he's got one foul, and then all of a sudden, about 40 seconds, he's got three. You had to take him out, and you guys were up by four. I thought that was big. By the time you big. come back in, you're down nine. I mean, yeah, yeah what? Yeah. How, how did that I, I thought that was big, that charge that they called. I thought it was a uh, – I, I didn't see that one there. I thought he avoided the guy, and that, that kind of turned it around. Because obviously, Dan is a big part of what we do. I mean, he's our most experienced guy. Um, Weather, Weatherspoon, he's he, he's been a killer for you guys. Uh, he obviously, he's he's real good. He averages 18 points. What do you think of his game? He's been a killer for on everybody. I think Bob, he's a good basketball player. He's a senior. I mean, I, I just I mean, you look at some of those guys, Eric, uh, the Holdman kid. I mean, those guys are older guys. Uh, even when you talk about Peters, those guys are older guys. They've been through the wars, and so I just you know right now you you know they they, they played. A little bit better than we did. Uh, I thought we came out with, with great energy. I thought, that, again, our first half, and then you look at the second half, we shoot 28% from the field. We make one out of ten three-pointers. And so uh, you can't do that against any team, uh, whether you're at home or on the road. You mentioned they did a good job getting a body on Dan, but he looked off uh, shooting the ball just around the rim. What, what do you think? He just missed some. I mean, he's human. I mean, he, he's been so good for us. And, and obviously everybody, and, you know, maybe that's wearing down on him. You know, you, you get, get pounded, pounded, pounded. You know, the wear and tear sometimes can have an effect. Uh, uh, I thought sometimes we tried to go to him too much, and that's before some of those turnovers took place. Uh, but I think he's given, given us every, everything he's got. Down on the road here lately. What, what are you all looking for in terms of recruits for next year? We've got to get, some, we got to get older. I think we got to get older, uh, and older I mean in size and uh, and guys that can make plays. I think that's that's the biggest key. Uh, you got to be able to put the ball in the hole, but you also got to have some 
uh, you got to have some some age. I think that that's the biggest key right there. It's uh, um, I made this statement. This is not the year to be young in the SEC, and obviously inexperienced, but uh, but we're learning. And like I said, I can say from a month ago to where they are right, a lot better. You know, we took a step back in that second half. I thought. Just with uh, Mason, what kind of since nobody else was doing much. He was what, fighting. What he, opened it up for him today? Yeah, I thought he was fighting. I thought he was in attack mode. I thought he was real aggressive. Uh, and that's what you have to be against a team that uh, that's going to play you as hard as they played. You know, they, they played him pretty hard. So I said the movement to me in the first half w w was guys were actually hard cuts, balls on time. And we had some turnovers during that time. But I thought in the second half, I thought we kind of slowed down. And like I said, I don't know if that's because some guys are, are playing tired. They played a lot of minutes. They're playing tired. And, uh, and these guys hadn't been through it. That's 25 games for some guys in a season. And so, uh, therefore, you know, I, I keep saying our bench has got to be the thing that comes forth. And, uh, and we, we didn't get the quality minutes that we normally uh, have been getting from our bench. Mike, you obviously used to win at home. This is five home losses. How, how tough is that? And it's tough, Bob. It's what, tough because that's one thing about you know you walk around and you see the signs where people say it's a tough place to play, and and and, and I still think it is. And I want to thank the fans for coming out. And uh, again, I thought the, uh, for the whole game, I thought they they were trying to wheel our guys. Uh, in the first half, they, again, the energy, everything was there. And, uh, and I wanted to see some of the, the first five minutes we always talk about being critical coming out. And, uh, uh, but I thought even as they went up 16, I thought we cut it nine with a couple of time with the ball to, to try to cut into that lead. You know, it was never over to his old. And, uh, and I thought the guys fought. Uh, but, but that is, that's, that's difficult. And, and uh, it's something that I'm not used to. And uh, I won't ever get used to that. And we, we're not going to get used to that. I mean, I, I just think the inexperience. I think today you saw the tail of two halves. Uh, I thought, you know, for a half we played really, really well. And we've been playing really, really well, even as we go out on the road and play. Uh, we played some games where we didn't finish. We just played at Missouri. We just played at South Carolina. Uh, like I said, I just, I'm just disappointed. I thought that we had uh, some more efficient minutes in us uh, tonight. And Mason said the guys are going to stay positive. You know, obviously, there are games left. What's the key to holding holding things together when it's a tough stretch? Well, they got this season. There's a lot of basketball left, Bob. We got six games. We got three and three, three on the road and three at home, and uh, and then not on that. And you're still in the hunt for something. And then you got another season, which is the postseason. So, uh, w without a doubt, there's a lot of basketball left. Uh, Carter, uh, you know, they didn't. And Nick Weatherspoon, I guess. Was Oh, sorry, and, and Carter had 18 points. What'd you think of how he stepped up for him? He's, a, I think he's a junior, isn't he? That's what juniors do. 